There are two major aspects of being a winning poker player, making money and protecting your money. Making money is the strategy decisions. It's what's done at the table, knowing how to play optimally, how to read the players, and what decisions to make based on those reads. Protecting your money is done away from the tables. It's knowing when to play, what limits to play, when to move up, and in general, how to protect your bankroll. In this lesson, I'm going to be talking to you about how to protect your money so that coupled with a good solid strategy at the tables, you'll be able to stay in action and grow your bankroll safely. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the allure of tournaments, the advantages of cash games, bankroll building for beginners, and finally, the next stage in money management. The allure of tournaments is obvious. You can turn a very small investment into an extremely large return. Oftentimes, beginning players will see these tournaments on TV or watch their favorite players online on Sunday and see these returns being made and say, that's what I want to do with my bankroll. What they fail to consider is that the variance in these tournaments is so huge, much larger than in probably any other form of poker. It's very easy to go 10 or even 20 tournaments without so much as a cash, and probably 100 or 200 tournaments without a final table or a win. What I would suggest is to put a small percentage of your bankroll and use that for tournaments, and take a larger percentage of your bankroll and put that into cash games. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the benefits of building a bankroll through cash games. A major advantage that cash games have over tournaments is the ease of building a bankroll. Uh, in tournaments, you can go a couple dozen of them losing before you finally hit that one hopeful win. Uh, it's much more of an emotional roller coaster, and it's very easy to start getting bummed out playing tournaments exclusively. Uh, with cash games, you don't really get that. You're not going to have any huge days up or down. So it's easier to say, I have a goal, I want to make this much money by the end of the month. Playing cash games is going to get you there more consistently. Let's say you're a recreational player who's been playing for a few years, but mostly dabbling in tournaments and have never taken cash games very seriously. So you're not that sure what an achievable win rate is. I'm going to show you through this example uh, what it's possible to do, turning $50 into $500, playing only low limit cash games. This example assumes that you're familiar with the game. Maybe you've been around for a couple of years playing the game in your spare time, so you're comfortable multi-tabling. So a safe assumption, playing limit hold'em, is that you're going to be able to win two big bets per hundred hands. Now, if we four table, you're going to get in 400 hands an hour. Six max tables usually get in 100 hands an hour. So you're having a win rate, playing limit hold'em, of eight big bets per hour. That's what we're going to base our experiment on. And we want to follow good bankroll management because we don't want to go bust. So we start with our $50. We're going to start off at $0.10, cent, $0.20. Cent. We're going to play that for 62 and a half hours. After 62 and a half hours, we'll have profited $100. We add that to the bankroll. Now we've got $150. We're going to move up in limits to $0.25, cent, $0.50. Cent. We're going to play $0.25, cent, $0.50 cent for 37 and a half hours. After that 37 and a half hours, we're have, we'll have made another $150. Add that into the bankroll. We're sitting with $300. We move that $300 on up to $0.50, cent $1 limit. We only play that for 25 hours. We've already made another $200. Add that to the bankroll. Now we've got our goal, our $500 bankroll. It took us 125 hours. We've grown $50 to $500. I know playing 125 hours seems kind of daunting, but you can look at it as paying your dues. This is a one-time investment of time. And at the end of this one-time investment, you now have a very comfortable bankroll of $500. 
in addition to the money that you earned, you also got a ton of experience. So going forward, you can be that much more comfortable in the games. You can take your bankroll and you can experiment. Or you can just stay at the limit that you're at and generate a steady $8 an hour. Let's say you followed my example and you've built your $50 bankroll up to $500. Or let's say you're already a recreational player who has around a $500 bankroll to begin with. A lot of players, especially at this point, romanticize the notion of playing higher stakes. They see the big stakes games running and they get a little full of themselves and, and they want to play it and make a lot of money and prove themselves. I'm going to show you how playing smaller stakes can be more lucrative than jumping up and playing the higher stakes. Now, assuming a player that has a two big bet per 100 hands win rate at a level like 1-2 limit, that player moving up to say 10-20 limit is going to have a drop in his win rate. Why is this? It's because there's a lot tougher competition at 10-20. Uh, there's fewer tables going, so you're not gonna get as much good table selection. So you're gonna be forced to be playing the better players at 10-20 than you would at 1-2. Let's look at an example to see which one makes more money. At 1-2, my win rate's two big bets per hundred. I can play four tables per hour comfortably. Uh, I get in 400 hands, I'm making $16 an hour playing 1-2. Compare that to 10-20. At 10-20, the win rate's only half of a big bet per 100, which is realistic considering all the variables. Also to consider is that there's less games running, so we'll probably only be able to play one table at a time. Playing that one table at a time with the win rate that we stated, we're only gonna be able to make $10 at 10.20. Even though the 10.20 game is 10 times larger than the 1-2 game, we see that we can actually make more money at the 1-2 game. Not to mention we're doing it in a much safer fashion because that's actually within our bankroll. So moving up too fast or playing a level where you're significantly underrolled has a huge impact on being able to generate future profits. Even if you take pride in being a winner at bigger stakes, there can usually be more profit made to you at the lower stakes. Let's say you've worked your bankroll into $1,000. So now you've got a healthy bankroll for a variety of different things. Now here comes the next stage in bankroll management where we want to find out what the best way to grow our money is. I'm going to compare and contrast using that $1,000 bankroll for tournaments and using that $1,000 bankroll for cash games. So let's say you're using a 100 buy-in bankroll rule. This means that you're going to be playing $10 tournaments and below. Let's assume you're a good, solid winning tournament player, uh, so you're able to make a 50% return on your money. That means, in order for you to grow your $1,000 bankroll to $2,000, you're going to have to play $2,000 worth of tournaments. Now, let's say you're a recreational part-time player with a job, and you only have time for one tournament a night. Because remember, you have to work around the schedules of the tournaments. You can't work around your own schedule. What this means is, playing one tournament a night, which is realistic for an average person with a job, you're going to have to play for 200 nights, or over half of a year, before you can realistically expect to turn your $1,000 into $2,000. Now let's compare this to cash games. Using your $1,000 bankroll, even taking a super conservative approach, you're still fully rolled for 1-2 limit hold'em. You have 500 big bets to start with, that's more than enough. We're assuming you can play four tables at once. So playing four tables of 1-2 limit hold'em, you're gonna get in around 400 hands an hour, still. With a fair amount of skill, you're still gonna be making two big bets per 100 hands, meaning you're gonna make about $16 an hour. When all is said and done, it's gonna take you 62 and a half hours to build your bankroll from $1,000 to $2,000. And that's only playing 1-2 limit hold'em, never moving up. You can work this 62 and a half hours into your schedule any way you want. 
even if you're the part-time player who can only play after work, if you only play one hour a night, it's only taking you 62 and a half days, which is far less than half the amount of time it would have taken if you had solely played tournaments. In this lesson, I didn't talk about strategy at all. I talked about something that's as important, but is more often overlooked. How to build your bankroll safely and manage it to protect yourself from going bust. If you follow these examples, you're gonna be able to manage your bankroll, stay in action, and have more fun in the game. So keep these lessons in mind, and I'll see you at the tables.